Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Kind of cold and a little snowy outside, a little... Not a, not a good day to really be out. So, I forget I put some time in the basement trying to get organized. And one of the things I bought, and I bought this, God, must be over 25 years ago. Maybe over 30 years ago. Um, this is a, a tool chest. Um, came from a guy on Long Island, and I think he worked for Grumman back then. And when he retired, he took his tool chest with him. And I believe I bought this at the old Maybrook Flea Market. It's in Maybrook, New York, off of Route 84, between Newburgh and Middletown. That flea market is closed. They put up a um, old age residence there. They clo it closed back in 1991 for all those historic values. Anyway, I bought this toolbox from him back then, and I spent money on it. I think it was a hundred bucks back then. It was, you know, that was coin. Um, but it had a lot of interesting stuff. Some of these things I added, like these are um, cheap um, tap and die sets, and these are. Um, drill bits, really small drill bits, but they had stuff like like this in it, right? The old goggles and you know this kind of stuff. The old tapes, Evans, um, made in the USA. Um, that's a Yankee screwdriver. These old. Um, You know, the uh, drill bit charts and tap and die stuff. Um, some of the more interesting stuff has, has to do with, like, measurements. Like, this is an old ruler. And you can see right here, made in the United States. But it folds. I mean, this is how it opens. It folds open. Right? It's 24 inches long. You can see it's brass all along here. So, made in the USA. He had a bunch of um, tools, like this thing. I'm not quite sure what it does. Spree D Ringer, made in the USA. I think you can kind of grip something and bend it or some, I don't know. Or like this thing. Once again, you see these tools and you wonder what they do. Made in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. KD Manufacturing, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Even this, uh, this, um, little light bulb was way cool. I don't know if you guys could read that on there. This little light bulb was made in the United States. Doesn't say where. Drill bits. A lot of the stuff I'm not quite sure what he, what he was up to with it. So my understanding for this individual, this is just some of the stuff in the top. I'm not sure why he had glass cutters. This thing looks like it punches holes. Once again, I'm not quite sure why. I really tried to leave the box more or less intact. He's got like a million different kinds of punches here. More drill bits. 
You can see the points on them. This stuff, I think I added. Right, it looks too new for him. Taps, million taps. And a leather pouch. Jerkintown, Pennsylvania. I guess they made a lot of tools out in Pennsylvania back in the day. Showed you that. I didn't think I had a brooch, but it appears as if I do. Just one. Many Allen keys. Stuff on the bottom. That thing's for figuring out curves. Big screwdriver. Various wrenches. Made in USA, Crystal Alloy, Crescent, Jamestown, New York. All those jobs are gone. I also found this box. This was a separate deal. I bought this at another time. What I thought was really cool was this ruler. And if you look at the ruler, look where it was made. Made in occupied Germany, British zone. So. Looks like it was never used. Still wrapped. How's that for cool? Vermont American cutting tools. And these were actually made in the United States also. Come on, focus. Yeah, these were made in the U.S. also. These little bits. These are 60s, I think. I think this was 60s, yeah. So, more stuff made in America. This is some kind of uh, pin used for pushing pins in, I think. Not a whole box of drill bits, most of it made in America. I wonder, it's a shame, all, all these little shops, you know, created all kinds of jobs. Well, back to the guy. I bought that box, I was probably, call it 25, which was 30-something years ago, and the guy I bought it from was probably in his 60s. So either this guy is 90 or he's uh or he's no longer with us i just think it's interesting the old stuff especially the ruler made in you know occupied germany the british side of it it's it's really pretty cool so yeah i've had this a long long time i've deliberately i've added a few things to it like this is um these are cheap just cheap taps right but I've really worked hard at not um, taking anything out of it I tried to keep in as much of his stuff as possible you know measuring tools right I mean, his special tools, like, you know, what's that for? Ingrown toenail? Little, little punches. 
I guess what you would do with this, if you drilled a hole, and then you had to, um, and the hole was bigger, then you put this insert down and you tapped it. Now you had the center of the bottom of the hole so that you can drill that one and get, get the center. Like if you're putting two pieces of metal together, I need all these. Like I have no clue what this stuff is for. So I just, I just, you know, kept it as it is. I just thought it was a really interesting timepiece back from uh, from the day when there were machine shops all over America doing all this kind of kind of stuff. Yeah, Grumman, um, Long Island, back in the day, they did a lot of um, military projects, a lot of specialty stuff. And um, you don't realize back then a lot of the sheet metal work, you were given a set of plans and it literally took days and days to get a piece of sheet metal, cut it to the size you want, bend it, and then you start drilling holes to put whatever... Um, gauges and switches or you, you know mounting whatever you were going to mount up to it it wasn't like you know everything was a uh, computer aided control and you just fed metal in one side and instructions from a keyboard into it and push a button and now came the metal folks used to spend hours and hours and hours uh, building this stuff so a time different time Yeah, this box was in there. I didn't notice the micrometer. I don't think it's that little guy. It looks too small. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the visit to yesteryear. Um, it doesn't have a name on the box. It might even be homemade. Right? Somebody might have made this. It is well done, though. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking somebody might have made this box. It's got kind of got the somewhat of the look of a homemade. Anyway, folks, I really want to thank you guys for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.